Hey, this is Jonathan with the Generate Blocks team. And in this video, we're gonna cover how to create list items such as ordered lists and unordered lists in Generate Blocks 2.0. Now to start off with, of course, there is a core list block and this thing is perfectly fine for very simple lists if you just need, you know, item A and B and so on. This is perfectly fine. However, you probably want more flexibility in terms of styling and what you can put inside of this list and with Generate Blocks 2.0 and later, you can do exactly that. So let's start off with a Generate Blocks container here. And what we'll do is first of all, switch back to the settings tab. We'll go to tag name and we'll change this to something like OL for ordered list. And then let's say, for example, we just want a simple generate blocks text element inside of that. We'll just change its tag to LI. And we can see because we chose ordered list, we have the number one here. So we could just type something like item one. And of course, if we just duplicate this out a couple of times, we can see it's going to increment just as you would expect a list to do. However, you're not limited to just text in here. So what we could do is either add, you know, a headline or we could stick in another container to create a nested list. So of course we'd need to change this tag to be LI. Then inside of that, we could put another container which would then create another one for us. So in this case, let's go UL for an unordered list. We could pop in another text element to just say sample text. Then this tag could be LI again and we would just duplicate this a couple of times. So as you can see, we already have a nested list and this can go however many deep you want. But again, of course, we're not just forced into using text and headlines here. You could also add in an image if you wanted. So a container perhaps would be best with the tag of LI and then you could pop in an image. So something like this would begin the nested list underneath the original OL for our ordered list, then comes the unordered list. Now, of course, we can put whatever we want inside of these, but we can also style them any way we want as well. So of course, because we're using generate blocks elements, we can either add a global style directly to them, or we could style things like, for example, if we needed to change this to have a larger font size of say 1.25 rim, we can go ahead and do that really easily. The other thing we can do, if we select the outer list container, if we scroll down, you can see that there are some other list options here. So we could change the list type. So if you don't want it to be necessarily just the circles, if you wanted it to be a square, you could do that. You could also change them to leading zero decimals, lower Roman numerals. You can see you have a good couple of options to pick from there. And of course, there's also this list image field. So we can drop in our own little SVG or you know small PNG to use as our list markers here. So in my media library, I have just a simple small little image right here that is a green check mark. So I'll just copy its URL. Then in this list image field, we just need to type URL, open parentheses, then the apostrophe, drop in the link, close the apostrophe and close the parentheses. And you can see now our list marker is replaced by that green check mark icon. So we have the flexibility to put whatever we want in here. Now you might be wondering, well, what if I want some spacing in this list? Well, of course, because we're using a container and its children are underneath it, what we could do is change our display here to something like flex. Then we could set the direction to column. We can set our row gap here to something like 2.5 rem, and we get a whole lot more spacing between our list. Of course, that's a little bit exaggerated. Maybe you would want something like 1.5 rem, but whatever you need to do here, you can. So thanks to Generate Blocks 2.0, whether you need just a simple text list or you need a more diverse one with various types of content inside of it, you can achieve whatever you need. If you have any questions about this update or other tutorial requests, please drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.